Welcome to our games room tour. Now this is actually the third take I've done on this. The first one was too waffly. The second one was too rigid. So let's hope it's like Goldilocks and the third one is just right. I want to shoot this guys fairly relaxed and just show you around as if I was showing my friends around because at the end of the day I want to be a part of the community and I want you guys to feel a part of our community and that you, you guys have your say. I just want to be able to have fun with you guys. So let's just do it. Let's just show you around. Let's start with a defocus. Ready? 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 And we are clear. So this is pretty much it. No, there's more. I'll show you a little bit more around. Bye guys. No, we're going to show you around. We are definitely going to show you around. So you wouldn't know it, but this actually used to be a garage. We took a couple of steps to change things in here. You can see that green kind of thing. Well, I'm really bad at this above my head. That is the chain that the mechanical door is on. Rebecca did a great job in putting some greenery around. We took some other steps like in putting lighting in uh, and also putting aircon on because this is a garage, it gets really hot. And we also insulated the doors, uh, the garage doors to prevent heat and sound, uh, for sound dampening as well. So I'm going to turn the camera around now and we're going to have a quick look around. Let's do this guys, but don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you hit that subscribe button, maybe, just maybe, we will do a more in-depth section-by-section look. If, would you guys like that? Do you want to see that? Hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments below what area would you like to see more on? Or what item would you like to know more about? Let's do this, guys. Come on. All right, guys. So here it is as it is. Now, this is the room where we spend most of our time. That can be found sitting on the couch, mainly reading a book or playing some games. And this is... Cortana the Halo pup. Say hello. Cortana, say hello. Can you say hello to everyone? Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? A little cutie. Yeah, she's awesome. We love her. So she's a rescue. Um, she's half Amstaff, half something else we don't know. So she's a mongrel, but she is the best mongrel that we could ask for. So walking through the doors here, the first thing we have on the left side is the contemporary section. Now this houses some of Rebecca's collectibles. She mainly collects PlayStation 4. You do have another area where you showcase all your games, like your own games room and a crafts room, so. But we'll show that another time. Yeah, we'll let get back, get back to a book. Probably a little kinky, I bet, is it? Not this one. <laughs> okay. At least not yet. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, so just to show you guys, this is just some of the boxes. Some of this is actually unboxed in the other room. And I will probably kick this stuff out when I get more of something really special. Something that I love to actively collect. And that's these things right here. Here we have the boxed Xbox 360 console variants, which in my opinion are the best console variants there are. I mean, they just look so, so, so damn good. I want to get more of them. I also love, obviously, the Xbox One versions of them. This is Beck. Beck loves purple, but she also loves powerful women in gaming. So this is her Xbox One X as it's currently in her games area. So yeah, we I like this little space. But it will see some changes and Beck will have her stuff kicked out eventually. Just some other little highlights we have. Here we have the Bioshock uh, 2 collections, uh, the boxed version of the collector's edition for number one, which came with this guy here. Unfortunately, his drill is broken, but Beck fixed it because she is a mad, 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 awesome person at crafty stuff. So uh, she loves Days Gone. And then we've just got some more random consoles. These ones I need to get boxes for. We have the um, Modern Warfare 3 and the Halo Reach. Coming down here, we come now into the print media. Print media is especially important to me because I feel a lot of the information from the 90s is lost on the digital age. So I actively collected as many 90s uh, magazines as I could, focusing on a couple, mainly like Sega related, 
These ones were mail away ones from Sega Aussie Soft that were sent out to members, um, which are really, really cool. And then we've got like a full set of Hyper Magazine from the 90s. We've got Mega, we've got um, Sega SX, we've got Sega Pro. These are all, so these are all the, the Hyper ones and everything like that. So that's the one with uh, Donkey Kong and when the 32X came out. I'm not gonna put that one back in now, it'll be too difficult one handed. And then some other random magazines as well as like Retro Gamer and Sega Master System uh, Visual Compendium, which I should actually move to the coffee table. I should do that. So, and then obviously uh, vinyl. We do collect soundtrack vinyls for video games. So we do have some, we want more, but obviously money is an issue. So um, we just do it when we can afford it. And then we have uh, record player and these two things are absolutely fantastic we have Lara Croft the Tomb Raider uh, this from Eidos this is a statue that came out with the launch of the game so we have that one with her in her wetsuit and then over here we have it with her uh, escaping area 51 they're fantastic and they suit here especially because we have this Tomb Raider store print that was from a retro video game store in Brisbane during the 90s. It was on a back chock, but we got it framed. And man, look at that. Look at that character art. That is fantastic. I really love that. Um, that's going to be staying with us. And then we move on to here we have some of our Nintendo section. The point of this section is, is if we could have a backdrop where we could uh, shoot videos and there'd be something uh, alluring behind, something that people would be like, oh, what's that, what's that, what's that? And it came together really well. But I think you can do that with every section of this game too, because it is bomb All right, so here are just some of the collectibles we have. This was a must own for me because this helped relaunch the video game industry in the West, thanks to Nintendo marketing this thing as a toy which allowed it to gain a hold in New York and eventually America, which relaunched the video game industry in uh, in the 80s. And thank you so much for Nintendo for doing that because I might not have all this if it wasn't for that one step. Um, some boxed Super Nintendo Amiibos, um, some other random bits and pieces. I could do a, like a little bit more of an in-depth one. And then down here, this is my original Nintendo 64 from when I was a kid and next to that Beck bought this for me when she was in Sweden because we didn't get this in Australia and I love it. I love The Legend of Zelda and I thank her so much for bringing this from the home country of Sweden back for me. More Amiibos and some boxed Wii U stuff and then some random boxed Switch Collector's Edition. One of my favorite JRPGs of all time is Xenoblade, especially Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So got those two collector's editions. Now, this next part. This next part is an absolute shrine to my love, The Legend of Zelda. My favorite video game series of all time. It is just fantastic. Every game is amazing and I just love it. Favorite piece here would be the Majora's Mask, first four figures, mask that you see there. I really want to get the life-size one. And then we've just got some boxed Zelda games that I've collected over the years. Some of these, once again, are from when I was a kid. Uh, that's my original Ocarina of Time and original Majora's Mask right there. So just like a shrine to all things Zelda. And if we find Zelda things, we do try to pick them up. All right, guys, that is it. That is it for part one of our Games Room Tour. Why am I doing it in parts? Well, I'm doing it in parts because firstly, firstly, it's easy to edit. Secondly, I want you guys to be involved in this process, in this games room tour. Community guys, that's what I want. I want to build a community and I want to be involved in the YouTube community. So what would you like to see from part two? Did you like how I did part one? Would you like me to see something change when I do part two? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when I put out part two and part three of the Games Room Tour and all the other videos that are yet to come. Until next time guys, thanks for watching, happy gaming!